Hello to the best squad on YouTube. This is MK the Truth D O D B E N T. Got some more of these sneakers for us to look at today. If you guys are new to this channel, please you gotta come on and join the squad. Also connect to my Instagram. It is the underscore truth underscore MK. Also, ladies and gentlemen, all music is produced by me, DODB. And I use them as background music on this channel. Before we get started, though, I got to tell you guys that this particular review is for educational purposes only. This is only my analysis. And then I get up off this video. So y'all know what's in this box. But I want to kind of, since I got another pair, this will be the final pair. Uh, I want to kind of piggyback off of the last video I did with this shoe being cheaply made. Now, some of you cry babies, some of you all retail all authentic people took <laughs> the worst offense to this crap that i've ever seen now for one there is a notice out there that some of the boxes are coming with some scales and there's some of the boxes that are coming without i mean from retail also this pair comes with a extra pair of red laces that does not come in the pack what is so bad about extra stuff now like so now you don't want more for your money like y'all gotta pick and choose <laughs> you see the one or the other you want extra stuff you want more for your money what what is it you don't know what you want all i gotta do is this and it'll be just like yours anyway i digress but i will be still talking a little bit to these little crybabies and sissies out here let me not say that i don't want to get canceled but anyway what i meant by this being a cheaply made sneaker i don't mean that the shoe is crap so don't feel bad just because you got the shoe the shoe looks pretty good this all red all red october thing that's happening on the shoe it's okay it's not that dope it's just okay it's a cool looking sneaker what i meant was this plastic rubberized crap on the upper this is literally listen to what i am saying this is literally 25 cent worth of material. This plastic nonsense you got on the upper, this is 25 cent worth of plastic. Just because they mold it into a nice snake pattern looking design doesn't mean that it's high and mighty. You also have a mesh, a sort of a satin style mesh on the upper that is probably about 25 cents. I call this stuff what it is. There is no premium materials on this shoe, but yet and still people are charging people $600. That's just the way I look at sneakers. I look at sneakers, what type of materials on it? Is it meticulously crafted? Well, that really doesn't matter. But when I wear shoes, I want some real stuff on it to justify a price point that some of y'all try to charge out here got it anyway very good looking sneaker you got patent leather sort of a metallic patent leather going on more plastic more cheap plastic some of these clowns were getting in the comments well maybe it's because yours are rep and the retail <laughs> oh i swear you think just because yours retail they made it out of some <laughs> extremely extremely premium plastic like come on some of y'all gotta get your head out your ass anyway green laces of course you got the mamba logo up at the top with the green very nice let me take this off because some of you might cry again let me go ahead and get this off the video it ain't supposed to have the plastic on there that was an e <laughs> boy the sheep out here anyway quick look at the medial side very nice you got that carbon fiber on the bottom just like yours carbon fiber just like yours anyway another thing that i've noticed is that this bottom is somewhat painted Yes, it is the same on yours. If you don't believe it, go to GOAT, look at the bottom of the sneaker. You will see some discoloration somewhere in this area, mostly right about here, because this is where the translucent portion, translucent portion splits. Why is that? That is because this whole bottom is translucent, and then they paint it or stick whatever they stick inside of here with the uh, mixture or what have you and color this. But you will see some discoloration somewhere on the bottom. I guarantee that you retail people take your shoe out, look at the bottom. There is some discoloration somewhere in this area. Well, not discoloration where the paint didn't take fully because of the translucence here. I pay attention to sneakers more than a lot of you out there that is why i do what i do because the reason uh why i do what i do is because i see the same similarities in this stuff that i see that you get from your brick and mortar or you order off that stupid app anyway let's get into this other shoe right quick 
Well, I'm going to tell you, some of y'all going to learn one day. You can laugh and cackle all you want to. But Nike laughing and cackling all the way to the bank. Nike probably sitting up there like, <laughs> boy, it took us. Probably, we probably only pay like $3 per shoe with the box, maybe $5 freight and shipping. We talking about 7 bucks all in total to get this out to the people. And yet y'all charging $600 for this crap online. Oh, better learn some business. <laughs> anyway, man, these look pretty good. Not a bad looking sneaker, but it's just it's just not that dope, man. It's, it's cool, but it ain't that dope. Once again, plastic crap trash five dollars in materials then you got your rubberized sole or you got your eva file or whatever you want to call it this is foam this is probably another 30 cents you got carbon fiber now this might be the most expensive thing on the shoe let me say that again this carbon fiber plate that you see on the shoe is the most expensive thing on this shoe let me know what y'all think about this video down below. This is MK The Truth, D-O-D-B-E-N-T. Hey, man, I love y'all. Wake the f*** up. I'm out.